Good morning, folks. This is jumpy because I took it off the TV. If you didn't know, this is New Mexico's largest wildfire ever. We've had quite a few big ones in the U.S. right now, actually. If a fossil river has water in it, is it still a fossil river? And is that good news or a sign of the earth changes? Did you hear how cold it was in Sweden yesterday? YouTuber DC Symbols put out an excellent analysis video yesterday. NASA gets two free super satellites, I'm talking better than Hubble. From who else? The secret space program. Can you just imagine what we don't know about? Something we do know, G7 is terrified and emergency meetings will take place today. It's not just debt anymore, there's now a serious fear of bank runs in Spain and other countries. New Zealand and Australia have been getting pounded weather-wise, storm surges and flash flooding. The Atlantic Ridge has been shaking big time, a number of moderate to large tremors all north of the equator, including one way up north again. Something kind of new, a couple of you have noticed that electron counts on GOES tend to take a big hit before geomagnetic instability. This is the first time that we have seen it correlate three times in a row. Each of these drops is followed by geomagnetic instability, even if not a full KP5 storm or higher. The source of most of the recent disturbance is a coronal hole stream from this big guy turning away from us. We got three more days of it. Looking at the solar wind, you can see it begin here. The yellow is the speed, nearly double normal levels, and unusual for coronal holes, the density has remained relatively high as well. This is the source of the come and go charge particle bombardment on Ovation Prime. For consistency's sake, here's the outer magnetic disturbance on the Fluxgate magnetometer. Temporal variations doing their best to stay near the baseline. However, solar plasma is breaking through the ionosphere. It's the red spikes. Having a look at the sun, the coronal hole is finally fully right of center. We still have three more days of strong solar wind. Trailing behind are the dangerous active regions on both the north and the south. South first, the leading region on the right is simple, thin, separated poles not much to worry about but over on the left the red belongs to the left of the blue and is way too close to the bottom right for comfort earth footprint is near the back of these regions up on the north there are two points of polar complexity one on the bottom and the other is top right the solar watch continues folks along with the earthquake watch get out and see venus transit tonight everyone uh, for australia that'll be at sunrise tomorrow morning that's the news everyone be safe